sweep. They take three points, a 65th minute penalty from Andreas Blankis, their captain. But that's not what this video is about. Today is an awesome day because if you are European like me, specifically Scandinavian and even more specifically Swedish like me, you know that Sweden just played their first game of the World Cup. And we played South Korea and we won one nothing, as you guys probably could tell in the beginning of the video. So it was an awesome, awesome start to this day. And because of the time difference, the World Cup is played in Russia uh, this year. I was actually up early in the morning. I had my morning coffee and I watched the game. It was awesome. Today's also been an awesome day in regards to weather. Been very windy, but also very, very hot. 95 degrees. And you guys know me, I prefer this every day of the week, the month, the year, versus uh, rain, slush, and snow, and cold. But enough about the weather forecast here. You uh, guys have seen the title, and uh, yeah, you saw the thumbnail, so it didn't take long for us to get pulled over. I say us, because you, you guys are pretty much always with me when uh, this happens. We were indeed pulled over, I think, less than a week since uh, the whole new setup of the truck has been on the truck. Well, here's my baby. If you're new to the channel, this is my 2015 Ford F-150 XLT that we've been working on for the past month. We've got new wheels, tires, new taillights, debadging process, new exhaust system, and so on. New grill and headlights over there as well. My wife drives a uh, 2018 Ford Raptor, and this is my baby right here, 2018 Mercedes AMG C63S. But before we go on with me trying to explain everything, why don't we just uh, take a look at the footage here. So I've just uh, made a quick little trip to the store here and I do have a cop behind me and he kind of looked like he was checking out the truck. I'm assuming that he's checking out the wheels <laughs> sticking out on the truck. We'll, have, we'll see here if uh, he shows some mercy on me. Here we go. Hazards on. Windows down. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? I'm Sergeant Fury with the police. How are Basic you? driver's license and the vehicle registration. Sure. The reason I stopped you is the equipment violations for your tires extending outside your your fenders. Okay. That's against the law. Right, well, yeah. I mean, I just had them put on. I was... And your license that, plate cover is also illegal. My license plate cover? Mm-hmm. Anything oh, I didn't that obstructs know that. the license plate, yeah. It darkens it to read it. Okay. Did you just put the tires on, you said? Yeah, I'm gonna get fender flares on. That's okay. the thing. I haven't I haven't done that. And yet, if you get so. the fender flares that cover the tire, then that's legal. Right, right. As right. it currently sits, it's not legal. Yeah, I just got you it done like the, that you I do. In there you don't want me to see? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> my wife has her gun in there. I think. That's, okay. But just, I'm just gonna open it just that's so. Fine. You... Right, no, she. I think she moved it to. For it. That's all no, no, no. I'm not. If it's not in there, I'm good. That's all. No, okay. She moved it to to the other truck. I know you're a local resident, but I'm. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm not worried about you being a problem. But, um, when do you plan on getting this completed? The fender flares? Yes, sir. Within two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Why such big tires, if I could ask? Not that it's my business. No, <laughs> I'm honestly, I just love the look. Okay. Do you have, do you have that, any covers on the headlights at all? I know you have some on the tail lights. Covers? No, no, no. No, those tail lights? I mean, if the tail lights are illegal, I had no idea about that. 
I don't have a problem with you trying to sport up your, your truck. Right, 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 right. You have to try to maintain no, it somewhat you. within the law. No, I hear you. You know, I I'll, hear you. I'll look at them as I go back, but I'm just going to write you a warning. Okay. So if you are stopped out here again, you can at least show them that you've been stopped Absolutely. once. Absolutely. And then they won't. You know, they won't let you know. Absolutely. You know, and I'll write on her. You're going to have it fixed in a couple of weeks. You're getting flares on it. That's fine. I don't right, have a right, problem right. with you. Right. Um, but you might end up getting pulled over in the meantime. Right. You see I what hear I'm you. Saying? I if understand. you go in, they may end up towing your truck. They're oh, that wow. picky about it. Oh, we're, okay. Here in the township, we're not that picky. Right, right. You know, we tent, we kind of are easy on. Right. Other municipalities, I can't guarantee that. No, I'll be honest with you. I need to bring it. you aware of the violation, right. and that's right. all I'm doing. I'm not going to cite you for it or anything like that. Like I have, I have tent on my truck. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest Go with ahead you. And, put it up. and the thing is, I put it down just out of respect for you. you no, know I what appreciate I mean? that. No, right. that's that's good. That's actually illegal. Anything behind your head can be tinted dark. Anything from the passenger compartment out front has to be clear. This is actually okay. too dark. Just I, by looking at, it, I'd have to get right. a meter, which we have. Right. I mean, emergency vehicles like our police cars are exempt under the vehicle codes. So we can have right, tent right, right. on our police cars, not on our personal cars, on our police cars. Right. We don't mess with tent. Right. Okay. Most of our guys do not. Right. All right. Let me just jot you a warning real quick so you can keep it with you. I appreciate that. If you get it fixed in a couple of weeks, you should be okay. All right. All right. Give me, appreciate give that. Give me a second. Thank you. So yeah, honestly, I mean, I gotta say he is a he's a he's a he's a nice cop. Um, I mean, I'm fully honest with him regarding the tent and you know the wheels sticking out. Uh, I actually haven't measured my wheels yet, so I, I I knew they were sticking out too much, but I don't know by how much. So uh, yeah, to everyone who's been asking if I'm getting fender flares, the uh, answer is definitely yes. Because <laughs> you know I, I can't I can't be driving around right where I live and be pulled over. I mean, that, that's gonna be a hassle since, you know, I live here and I, I travel around a lot, so, yeah. And here's your cards back, sir. Thank you, thank you. This is just a written warning notice as I discussed with you, just to the equipment violation, gives you two weeks to get it corrected. If you appreciate put flares that. on it, that's fine. All if right. you elect not to do that, then you need to change out the tires. All right, Any I appreciate questions? it. No. All right. We, thank you. Have a good night, sir. You too. So there we have it. I have two weeks to uh, put fender flares on my truck. Which fender flares should I be putting on? Leave them in the comments. So there we have it. I figured that this might happen at some point. I didn't think it was going to happen this quickly. So I was pulled over for my wheels and tires mainly. Now we all know that they do stick out a bit too far from the actual fender here now i am actually unsure of the pa loss i was under the impression that it was at least two inches that the tire could stick out from the fender now i didn't ask the uh, police officer at the time because i don't know i didn't think of it i guess to see what the actual legal limit is from what uh, people have told me just now that the wheel's not allowed to stick out at all. Now, another thing that he mentioned was my plate frame. I, you know what? I think that's a little over excessive. This isn't a super dark plate frame. I mean, you could still see my license plate and everything here. So uh, I guess I'll have to remove that to avoid any more trouble in my neighborhood here. And then he asked me about my taillights. I know that the look of them are like smoked out, but you know, they're sold this way. Um, I'm pretty sure that they're not illegal. It's just the look of them. When they have the lights on and the LED strip, I mean, there's nothing that's really hindering the actual tail light from being illuminated and being safe and other drivers seeing that I actually have tail lights. So with that, I'm, you know, I'm not fully agreeing with him there. And to be honest, he didn't tell me that they were illegal. He was just wondering if I had smoked them out, which I have not. So uh, yeah, I guess that uh, pretty much uh, basically my whole truck is illegal. At least big parts of it. Now, I'm not one of those people that are under the impression that, you know, all cops are bad cops and that kind of thing. I believe that most cops are good cops. Then, of course, you're going to have some of them that are you know, out to be pricks. This police officer was not one of them. I mean, I believe that he was a cool guy and he was just doing his job. And regarding the tint as well, I mean, I was honest with him. You know, I have tint. I rolled down my windows to, you know, show respect for you so he doesn't walk up to my vehicle and it's all dark and he doesn't know what's going on in there. I also let him know that we usually keep um, safety equipment in the glove box, specifically my wife does, because she, 
no one knows this, but she was actually carjacked in 2004, and since then, uh, she's been very cautious when it comes to being in a vehicle, and that's when she actually started carrying a firearm and keeping it in her car. But um, I had actually forgotten that she had, of course, moved that to the Raptor. But my point is, you know, when you are pulled over, whether you're in the right or in the wrong, just show respect for the officer, and it usually works out just fine. At least it has for me the times that I've been pulled over. So at the end of the day, what we're going to have to do now is get fender flares, of course. Now I asked you guys the question, what type of fender flares do you think I should get? Um, even if I get fender flares, I don't think my truck's going to be completely legal because even if there are fender flares that stick out to here, I'm not going to get them because in my opinion, it just doesn't look good. I'll get fender flares, but they got to be pretty moderate. Enough about that. Uh, quick little update here. Uh, for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, might not know. Unfortunately, I will not be able to make the YouTube call out on the 23rd in North Carolina. Although I'm very grateful that I was invited. Uh, it's just not matching up with my schedule and the distance that I have to drive to get there. I had other things that were planned prior to being invited. So if you are one of my subscribers that had planned on going to North Carolina to you know meet, meet up with me, say hello and that kind of thing, I just wanted to let you guys know beforehand, just so you know that. But the, the reason I can't do that is because tomorrow my wife and I are taking the bends and we're going to Pocono Raceway. So me and my wife are gonna be racing stock cars and for the first time I'm gonna have the AMG on a track and drive it there. So that's gonna be really, really awesome. I'm very excited about that. So definitely look forward to that video. More mods for the truck. We got more mods for the AMG right there. A lot of cool stuff happening here in the near future. Uh, but with all that being said, I think we're gonna end the video for today. I do hope you guys enjoyed this upload. If you did, you know what to do. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.